and welcome to another Lawn Fawn video. Today we're taking a look at the newest add-on for the Tiny Gift Box, the Tiny Gift Box Hedgehog Add-on Die. So you're going to need a Tiny Gift Box and then this die will create all the pieces to decorate the box as a cute little hedgehog. Let's take a look at the dies in this set. There's a die that cuts out the face, a die that cuts out the spines around the face, and you can see how that face just tucks right in there. There's a die that cuts out a piece that will layer behind to fill in the eyes, the nose, and the mouth. There's a die for some tiny little rosy cheeks, and then these little teardrop pieces layer behind to fill in his ears. There's a tail, which fits into that notch that you see there. There is a rectangle that cuts two sides, a rectangle that cuts the back with the notch, and then a square that cuts the top of the box. So you layer these around the box to completely cover it. I have a tiny gift box cut here from some cream cardstock, and I'm just gonna fold along all those score lines that the die creates. So I'm going to start by assembling the face of my little hedgehog here. So I'm layering that piece of black behind his eyes and his mouth and his nose. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of liquid glue to the back of his ears. And those light pink pieces that I've cut that are teardrop shaped are gonna layer right behind the ears to fill in that opening in the ears. I've also cut the little cheeks from some ballet slipper cardstock, and I'm just adding a few dots of glue to add those little pink cheeks to the front. And then now that his face is all finished, I can layer that onto the spiny head here just by adding it a little bit of glue and then sliding the top part of his head underneath those spines on the top. And that's gonna fit right between his ears perfectly. So now to do the sides of the box, it cuts these little V shapes. And what I'm gonna do is actually grab a hold of those and kind of pull them and bend them up. That way you can see the box through these just a little bit and there's a little bit of variation. You don't have to do this, you can just leave it as a cut detail, but it's just a little added interest, but you can see how you can see that through. Now I've done that to all my pieces here, both of the sides, the back, and the top. And now I'm gonna add them to my box. I realized when I used my tape runner here that I got adhesive on the back of those little V's I just pulled up. So I'm pulling them up again and I'm actually gonna use liquid glue to attach the other sides. So just something to keep in mind. But this one fits perfectly on the back of the box. You can see how you just line up those notches and then line up the sides of the box. So I'm gonna to switch to liquid glue for the other sides so that I don't have to keep pulling up those little V's that I've made. And then for the two sides and the back, I'm making sure that those V's all point towards the bottom of the box. That way when the box is assembled, they'll all be pointing down. Now for the top, I'm making sure that I have them pointing away from the head. So you just wanna check and make sure you've got them in the right direction. And then I'm just layering that on the top using those fold score lines that I had earlier as my guide. So I'm going to go ahead and assemble my box. I'm putting some double-sided tape on those four little flaps there. I'm going to pull off that liner paper and I'm going to assemble my box before I put the face on the front. So I'm just folding up those sides and attaching all those to where that tape is. So you can see I've got that one side that's still the color of the box and that's where my face is gonna go. So I'm just gonna add a bit of glue to that. And as you can see for this little hedgehog, the bottom part of him is nice and flat so that he's gonna sit nicely on your tabletop once you get that face attached. Now we're gonna add the little tail right into that notch. So it's like a larger teardrop shape piece and that 
round part at the bottom is going to fit right into the notch. And then here is our finished little hedgehog box. He's super easy to put together and I think it would be so cute in lots of rainbow colors for a party or something. And then you can just open it up right where his tail is and put a treat inside. Super cute. Now I'm going to make a card using the hedgehog and I'm using some of the new Into the Woods remix papers. I'm going to use the 12 by 12 sheet with those clouds. And then I'm also going to use some of the smaller pattern papers in the petite paper pack to cut out my hedgehog. So I cut out his spiny parts out of that brown paper that has all the little colored leaves and I just think it is so cute to have that pattern and texture on my hedgehog. I'm going to layer that black behind the face again to fill in his eyes, nose, and mouth. His face is cut from apricot cardstock. And then for the parts behind his ears, I actually pulled out some pumpkin spice cardstock, which is a darker orange, and it matches the darker orange in the pattern paper. I just thought it would be nice to kind of pull in all the colors that I'm going to use on this card into the hedgehog as well. And then now that his face is all together, I can just add him to that piece of pattern paper to finish him off. Isn't that just so fun that all those colored leaves in his spines? It, I think it kind of looks like confetti, which is sort of fun. So now I've cut some of the scripty hugs. I've cut three out of some sunflower cardstock and I'm just going to stack those to make a really thick sentiment. And then the orange one there is cut from some of the orange pattern paper in the Into the Woods collection and that's going to be my topmost layer. So you're going to see this yellow on the sides and it's going to look like a really thick die cut chipboard piece. And I'm just using my liquid glue to glue all these together. And you can see I had my tweezers there. I was just kind of cleaning up any of the glue that sort of squished out the sides between each layer that I do. So finally, I'll put that orange pattern piece on the top. And this will be my sentiment for my card. I'm also going to use the sending from the thanks, 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 so that our sentiment says sending hugs. I have a piece of cilantro cardstock cut with a stitch rectangle. That's going to be some grass on the bottom. And I'm going to go ahead and stamp this and figure out where my sentiment is before I cut that grassy border so that I make sure that my alignment is good and I've got enough space. So you saw I put the hugs there to figure out where that stamp needed to be. I went ahead and stamped it down and then I can cut that grassy border across the top and then I'm going to layer it onto that stitch rectangle that's cut from that cloud pattern paper. Now I'm going to go ahead and add that stacked up scripty hugs that I created earlier and I'm just putting it right below the sending that I stamped and it's just going to kind of hug that sentiment there. And then the whole panel I've put on some foam tape and I'm just gonna center it up and pop it up off a craft cardstock base. I've also added some foam tape to the back of my little hedgehog here. So he's popped up as well. And I'm just gonna line him up right above the word sending, right on that green grass. And then I've gotten out my old Into the Woods stamp set, which you can still get, but this coordinates with those papers from the Into the Woods remix. And I love these solid little speech bubbles. This one just says hello. I'm stamping it in some fake tan ink on white cardstock and I use the coordinating die to cut it out. And I'm just gonna add a little piece of foam tape to the back and I'm gonna put it above my hedgehog here so he's just saying hello. So that the whole sentiment says hello, sending hugs. I thought that the craft cardstock needed a little bit more interest, so I pulled out 
the little solid heart that's also in that Into the Wood stamp set, I have some dough ink and I'm just stamping it around on my card base. You could do this before you put the panel on, but I wasn't sure what I wanted to do. So I'm just being very careful to make sure that I don't get any ink on the panel that's already on there. And this will just create a subtle tone on tone inked background with that pattern of those little hearts. And I just think it just adds a little more interest to the card. It makes it look much more finished. And then here is my finished card. I just think that little hedgehog with that pattern paper is so cute. Now let's look at some projects from the design team. Renata created this super cute little box. I love those bright pink cheeks that she made. And then Elena created these sweet boxes. I love her inking on the edges of the spines and her little rosy cheeks. And Kara created these super fun boxes. It looks like she used paint to enhance these little hedgehogs. And I just think they are so super cute. I also love those felt details that she added with the flowers and the bow tie. Thanks so much for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye.